Hi, I'm Lara. Welcome to a lesson on beginning finger picking for ukulele. This lesson will start off with some tips on form and technique, and then I'll give you two easy basic finger picking patterns that you can use to finger pick almost any song. I'll give you a bunch of song examples, and then I'll also give you some chord progressions that you can use to practice both of these patterns. So let's get started. The main premise behind finger picking is that you have one finger on each string, playing them one at a time. Now you may occasionally play two strings at the same time, but generally it's one at a time. So as opposed to strumming, when you have one finger playing through all four strings, when you do finger picking, you play the strings one at a time with separate fingers. As far as technique goes, you want your hand facing downward so that you can lift the strings you don't want your hand facing sideways because you're not going to be able to properly lift the strings with your hand at this angle. So keep it facing down. We're going to use our thumb through our ring finger to play the four strings. Generally, we don't use our pinky for finger picking. It can hang out to the side. So we're going to use our thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the third string, middle finger on second string, and ring finger on the first string. With finger picking, we want to pull on the strings in an outward motion away from the instrument. What we want to avoid is pulling downward or upward on the strings because then our fingers will hit other strings. For example, if my thumb is pulling in a downward motion on the fourth string, it's going to hit the third string. Or if I'm pulling upward on the third string with my index finger, it will hit the fourth string. We want to avoid that. So this takes some practice. You want to start off slowly and just practice getting the feel of lifting each string. You want to get a nice clean sound. Having your fingernails a little bit longer makes it a bit easier for finger picking. So give this some practice, start off slowly, and try and get the feel of pulling the strings away from the instrument. Now I'll introduce our two basic finger picking patterns. The main difference between these patterns is the rhythm or the time signature of the song that you're going to apply it to. So for the majority of the songs out there, most of them fall into two main categories. The first category is to a rhythm of three beats, and you may see this written as a time signature of 3-4 time or 6-8 time. When you hear the song and you count the rhythm in your head, you'll count either 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or you may also count one, two, three, four, five, six. The second category, the second finger picking pattern we'll look at, will be for songs that are in standard time or four four time. And when you count to the rhythm of these songs, you'll count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I want to point out that I am playing a tenor ukulele with a low G. If you have a high G, you can still play these same finger picking patterns. So let's get into our first pattern. It sounds like this. Here's our first finger picking pattern up close. I'm starting with string four, and then three, two, one, back to two, and then back to three. So I'll play this nice and slow so you can see it at a very slow tempo. The rhythm of this pattern is one, two, three, one, two, three, or it can also be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to apply this pattern to three different songs and share with you just a couple lines from each song so you have a good idea of what types of songs you can apply this pattern to. Again, these are songs that will be to the rhythm of one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. The first sample is Edelweiss and it sounds like this. Hallelujah. 
is perfect. When you said you looked a mess, I whispered underneath my breath, but you heard it. Darling, you look perfect tonight. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for subscribing. Now let's get into our second finger picking pattern. It sounds like this. second pattern up close looks like this. Essentially I'm going down from strings 4 to 1 and the rhythm is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'll share with you three song examples using this finger picking pattern. The first one is Take Me Home Country Roads. Country Roads Take me home to the place I belong. The second example is You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Our third example is Someone to Lava. I have a dream. I hope it will come true. That you're here with me. And I'm here with you. Now I'll show you three different easy chord progressions that you can use to practice both of these finger picking patterns. I've included a link in the description below that shows you each of these chord progressions right now as well as all the chord diagrams that I'm using in these progressions. So progression number one starts with C and then goes to C7 and then F and then G7. So if we start off with our first finger picking pattern and cycle through this pattern twice on each chord, here's what it sounds like. our second finger picking pattern, cycle through twice on each chord, here's what this one sounds like. Our second chord progression starts on A minor and then goes to F and then G7 and then C. So our first finger picking pattern sounds like this. Our second finger picking pattern sounds like this. progression starts on G and then D C and then D7 so our first pattern sounds like this
just starting off with finger picking, focus on your technique, start off nice and slow, and use these chord progressions to practice. Eventually you'll be able to apply these two patterns to so many different songs, and it's a lot of fun to be able to do finger picking as an alternative to strumming. To further your learnings, check out my other videos on ukulele techniques and fundamentals, as well as song tutorials. Now have fun with your ukulele, and thank you so much for watching.